to sit on the in, in the stands and, and nights like last night and, and not be part of those those Europa League squads. I mean, you must be, you must be desperate to be involved in, in those kind of occasions. Yeah, it's it's tough on one hand. Um, then I suppose on the other hand, it's sort of like um, it gives me an opportunity to sort of like have that day off my legs um, and sort of like prepare for the games on a weekend, which is obviously important. Um, but of course, I mean, over the years, um, even my time at Tottenham in the Champions League and the Europa League, I always loved it. Um, scored a lot of goals. So I always, I remember all these moments and stuff. Um, and of course, when you sort of like get to the get to the sort of like the back end of your career, you you, you want to have those moments again. You want to play in the Europa League because you're playing against you know the best teams in Europe. You're playing against top defenders and. And uh, you're still testing yourself on that. So, of course, it's not easy watching it. But at the same time, um, I still have you know, great memories of, of playing the Europa League for many years. Ali Defoy, please. Morning, Jermaine. Um, you're heading to Falkirk on Sunday, artificial pitch. How difficult or challenging is that in your position? Um, I think it's, you just have to approach it like any other game, to be honest. I don't, I don't think it... It's sort of like, um, obviously, it's going to be, you know, something different. You know, I feel if it's a pitch somewhere that well, I've never been before. I heard that's really cold there as well. So, um, I love the thermals. Are... <laughs> no, but um, no, I'm looking forward to it. It's another game, a game that we want to go there and win, <clears throat> and just keep the standards high, and to continue what we what we've been doing. And you know, like I mentioned before, just approach it like any other game, um, and you know, go there and, and, and try and win the game. That's all we can. That's all we can do. David Edgar, please. I mean, you've looked really sharp in your last two starts. Uh, how are you, how happy are you with your own form so far this season? To be honest, I feel really sharp. Um, still feel like I'm probably playing at that like seventy percent because um, you still need to run a game to get that match fitness. Um, but in terms of like small areas and stuff like that, I feel really sharp. Um, the Livingston game, I felt really sharp. Uh, I felt fresh. I felt strong. And that's probably because of the work that I've done, um, you know, off the pitch in the gym, um, and obviously not being in the Europa League squad. Uh, on a on, on a Wednesday, you know, I, I I train hard, I will stay behind, I will do running, and then I do like a big session in the gym because I know I've got the day off the next day. So I sort of like peak going into the weekend, which is sort of, which, which has really helped me. Um, so it's just run of games really to really get up to that sort of level that I want to be at. Um, maybe from the outside looking in. Um, probably look like I'm at that level but I still feel like I've still got a little bit to go um, to get to that sort of like razor sharpness where I'd want to be. Thank you. Hugh McLean please. Hi Jermaine, um, obviously the, the club will want to be successful on all fronts this season, just how important do you think the, the Betfred Cup could be in terms of you know keeping that momentum going but also the fact that it is the first trophy available this season as well, just can that really sort of spark some success if you're able to to go all the way in this competition? I think so, yeah, I think it's important, especially when you play for a club like this. You know, you have to compete in every competition. You have to believe that you can win in every competition, you know, whether that's the cup, uh, obviously domestically, you know, um, Europa League, um, which, we, which we're which we competing while we're in. So, yeah, you have to believe that you can compete in every competition. And like you said, it's the first trophy. Um, and we're going to certainly go and try, and try and win that. So, yeah. Craig Vickers, please. Hi, Jermaine. Um, do you notice a sort of added determination among the players um, going into this Betfred Cup campaign, considering how painful the defeat in the final was last year? Yeah, of course. It was, it was, it was horrible, to be honest. Probably an understatement after the game, you know, sitting there, um, being so close and not sort of like coming away with a, with a, with a, with a win and the, and the first trophy in the dressing room. So, of course, you look at that and you don't really want to have that feeling again. Uh, Saying that, you know, it's still a long way to go. Um, we have to win the game on the weekend and uh, and see what happens after that. Um, but like you said, like I said before, like you know, we, we want to try and compete in, in every competition because you know we're playing for Rangers and that's and that's what we want to do. Um, the demands of playing for this football club, everyone understands. Um, the squad's really strong. You know, the you know you can you can see in different games there's different personnel. That, you know, players that are coming in and and producing. To be honest, um, you know, credit to all the boys. Everyone realizes. How important this season is, you know, in every competition, and 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 hopefully that can continue. Luke Shanley, please. Given that, then, Jermaine, how do you assess the difference in 
terms of mentality this season now on an unbeaten run compared to when you joined the club now? Is there, is it much stronger? I think the squad, the squad, the squad's obviously stronger. I mean, you can sort of like if you look in every position, um, even before when you sort of like you got players that are maybe not hundred percent fit. Maybe before when I first came, you know, you, you know, you sort of like take risk and play those players or. But I think now when, you know, if someone's got like a little, a little niggle or something, you don't have to take any risk because there's players that can come in and, and put in those same performances that we need because um, the squad's so strong. And I think the mentality is, um, at the minute, the mentality from every player is, is where it needs to be. Uh, I think everyone knows that, you know, every game you play, not just in the games, in training, I think the training session, because I think that for me, that's where it starts. Training's been really sharp over the last few weeks. You know, everyone's been on it in training. Everyone's doing the extras in the gym, and just ticking every box really. And I think that's that can, that shows in our performances. And finally, Robin. Hi, Jermaine. You've obviously reaping the benefits of looking after yourself throughout your career. Um, I just wondered uh, how many more seasons do you think you can still play, and uh, do you think would you like another crack at Rangers next season? I know to be I've always just listened to my body to be honest. I think it's important to listen to your body um, and also be honest, uh, especially be around people that's going to be honest with you. I've got a good relationship with the manager and I sat down and spoke to the manager about obviously the Europa League squad and, and having that sort of like day off my legs so that he can get the best, best Jermaine Defoe on the weekend and I'm fresh um, and I'm sharp. And to be honest, I feel like, like I mentioned before, the two games that I've started, you know, I feel... I mean, I feel really sharp. Um, I don't feel like I've had to sort of like adapt my game in any way. Um, obviously, over the years, you sort of like, you change your game a little bit. But in terms of like massively, you know, changing my game and not being able to do the things I was doing probably maybe a few years ago, I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm at that stage yet, which is good for me. Um, and touch wood, you know, I don't get any little niggles, any injuries. Uh, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. You know, I feel, I feel fit and sharp. You know, I feel fit and sharp. And I mean, if I can continue still scoring goals at this level, then for me, there's, there's, there's no reason to stop yet. So your body's not telling you that you can't carry on? Oh, absolutely not. I don't miss a training session. Like I mentioned, but I do my, my stuff in the gym. Um, I still feel fit. Um, but like I said, it's about being honest. Once I get to, if I get to that sort of stage where I feel like, mm, I'm struggling, I can't do this, then of course it's, it's, it's no point because I've had a long career. I've enjoyed it. It's been great. But... I mean, at the minute, um, I don't feel like I'm 38. <laughs> Let's take that. I don't feel like I'm 38. So, um, so yeah, hopefully, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Cheers. Cheers. See you Sunday. Cheers. Cheers.